Okay, everybody, welcome to week three. Um, this will be a pretty short video. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do this in two parts. Uh, one will be uploading to Memento, and then the other will be looking at your uh, the actual finished data. Um, but it does take a little bit of time for it to process, so I'll have to split it up into two videos. Okay, so we're going to launch Memento. And here we go. Um, and this is the Memento interface. See, uh, you have a cloud drive down here. Here's some tests that I have done before. Um, so what we're going to do first off is we're going to click on Photos. And you'll get this uh, pop-up. And we'll worry about the A360 drive later, uh, but for now, um, we're just going to treat it like this is your first go. So here's the interface for your files. So you go to browse to your photographs and select them. And I'm going to click and find your photos. Mine are on the desktop. And click Zoom, hit open, and then it's going to add them into the software. And one thing you want to make sure you do, um, I found this through some testing, if you have a photograph that's really blurry, like this one here, um, make sure you don't upload it because it will take this into account. The software will take it into account and it will screw your model up. And you'll have to reprocess it again without that blurred image because it does try to find different spots inside of that blurred image. Um, that is pretty much it. Well, yeah, that's all you have to do at this point. Then you just hit create model. Um, and you're going to have this dialog box come up, and I'll just call this Auto Test CD. Um, for quality, go ahead and hit Best, click on Advanced. Make sure the Smart Crop is off, um, so you can crop your own your own models uh, and Smart Texture off as well. Um, it just you get better results this way. You can, if you want, you can all you can always try these options. Smart Crop basically tries to find the the focus of the photographs and crops everything else out. But I've found that sometimes it crops out stuff that you actually want to keep. So I would just keep this off. And Smart Texture kind of does the same thing. It just it tries to make sure the texture resolution stays around your focus. And I would, my suggestion is to keep both those off. So you hit start, and you'll get this. So you'll see that you'll get preparing to upload. And mine's going to take a while because my internet connection is so slow. Um, you guys will probably be pre pretty quick um, since you'll be doing this at CCAD and fast internet. So while this is uploading, I can explain, explain a couple things. Uh, this isn't perfect. So sometimes you'll get these errors where it will say uploading photos it'll go all the way through and then you'll get to a point where it freezes it'll freeze during processing this has happened a few times so if that happens what you want to do is if when I say freeze if it freezes for say eight hours and you're not getting a result back it means something's wrong so you want to close the cancel the mesh creation for this project delete the project and then you'll browse to your 360 autodesk.com folder which will have the uploaded folder the uploaded photos and then you'll create another project using those photos so you don't have to upload your photos again um, and if that's not clear we can discuss that in class it's basically when you're uploading these photos you're uploading them to a cloud drive so once they're uploaded you can create as many projects you want out of those um, 
without having to re-upload. So if you have a project that's messed up, you can always reprocess these photos from Cloud Drive. Um, and that's it. While this is uploading, I'm going to go ahead and just pause this, or I'll stop it, and I'll go ahead and record another one once this, uh, once the photos are done processing. Thank you.